Discovery in the Cave Chapter 1 Earthquake A bison climbs down a mound of rock. It is night, when bison should be sleeping. But tonight something is wrong. There are sounds like thunder coming from inside the mountain. At the top of a mountain, a rock comes loose and tumbles down. It smashes into other rocks, breaking them apart. Then another one follows, and another. Suddenly, it looks as if, if the whole mountain is going to shake itself apart. It is an earthquake. The bison springs down the mountain, chased by boulders and stones and gravel that falls like hard rain. The frightened animal barely gets away from one whole side of a mountain, breaks apart, and slides down the hill. Seconds later, it is over. The mountain is quiet, but it has changed. Rocks that were uh, at the top now are now piled up at the bottom. Trees are bent and broken. In one place, the entrance to a cave has been buried under a rubble. Was anyone inside? No one will know the answer for thousands of years. 동굴의 입구가 이 막혔어요. Chapter 2. Discovery Robert! Someone shouts. A dog barks. His name is Robert. The person who calls him is Marcel Rabiedet. He is 17 years old. Marcel and Robert are in a forest near Marcel's home in France. The boy and the dog have been here before hunting rabbits. Today they are hunting for something else. It is September 12, 1940. Marcel and Robert have come to the forest with three of Marcel's friends. Marcel wants to show them something Robert found when they were hunting. Hmm, 뭔가 사냥하다가 뭔가 발견한 게 있나 봐요. The boys catch up with Robert. They are at the trunk of a large tree that has fallen to the ground. The roots of the tree are torn from the soil. Where the tree stood, there is now a deep hole. But the hole is deeper than the roots of the tree. 음, 나무가 뿌리채 뽑혔는데 그 뿌리보다 더 깊어 보이는 구멍이 있어. The boys dig to make hole bigger. Marcel thinks it might hold buried treasure. That's enough digging, says Marcel. He holds something, a tool from his uncle's garage, a grease gun. A Marcel strikes a match and holds the flame to the tip of the gun. The grease catches fire and burns like a candle. Then Marcel disappears in down the hall. Robert whines, where is Marcel? The other boys look inside into the hall. Come on, Marcel is standing in the light of the torch. Ten feet down, Marcel's friends tumbled in after him. The hall is dark and cold. At the bottom is tunnel with walls made of clay. The tunnel does not go straight down, but is deep. Marcel leads to leads the way. The four boys are walking underground, deep beneath the forest. After a while, the walls of the tunnel change. Instead of clay, they are now made of limestone, a kind of rock. The path becomes less steep, then they are out of the tunnel and inside a cave. The floor is slippery and wet. The boys watch their step. Marcel notices something strange. Above their heads, a wall of cave are covered with calcite, calcite, a bright white mineral. Marcel leaves his torch, look, looks up and gets a big surprise. Someone was here before them. <gasps> Above their heads, the white walls of cave are decorated with large paintings of animals, horses, Stags with horns as big as tree branches, huge animals that look like oxen. Some are standing, others look as if they are running through the cave, charging along the edge of a high cliff. Oh, 벽 전체가 그림으로 둘러싸여 져 있어. Outside, a warplane crosses the sky. It is a German Mr. Smith. Francis Edward, enemy soldiers have moved into many French cities. When the boys come out of the cave, they are worried. For now, the cave is theirs. They found it. What will happen if other people find out about it? But they are all so excited. A secret like this 
is hard to keep. They think of one person they can trust. 음, 누군가 믿을 만한 사람에게 말을 해줘야겠는데요. Someone who knows a lot about old caves, Monsieur Leon Laval. Monsieur Laval is their former science teacher. The boys talk to him. They take him to the cave. Monsieur Laval has seen many cave, cave paintings before, but not like these. Look at the way the animals are drawn, he tells the boys. The faces are turned slightly to make the paintings look less flat and more real. Some of the animals are carefully drawn over bulges in the rock while they are shaped like the animals' bodies. On the floor, they find chips of animal bone and rock powder that was used to make paint. The things they find and the paintings are very old. Chapter 3, 16,000 BC. A man wearing animal hide walks up a mountain trail. The trail follows the path of a dry riverbed. Many years before the man was born, water ran here. 아, 예전에는 여기 water이 흘렀다는 뜻이에요. The water ran through, right through the mountain and formed a cave. The shells of clams and mussels living in the water stained the walls of a cave white. Then the river dried up and left an empty cave. The man walks into the cave. He carries a hollowed out stone holding animal fat. The fat is burning, making a kind of candle. It lights the way. The man is an artist. He has come here to paint. Inside the cave are other artists. They have built a scaffold, a platform made of wood. The man climbs the scaffold to reach the top of the cave. Where the wall is mostly most white, he mixes powdered rock with water to make paint. He carefully spreads the paint onto the wall with a rag made of animal hide. Other artists have been here before. Their paintings are on the wall too. The man is careful not to paint over the older artwork. To the herd of horses that was already painted there, he adds another one. A red pony with black head. Chapter 4